Well, right now, the stage is set for one of the biggest nights of the year at Symphony Hall, a concert next week featuring the winners of the 15th Boston Pops Fidelity Young Artist Competition. High school students compete by sending in videos that showcase their musical talent, and judges pick the winners who will then perform with the Pops. WBZ's Paula Eben introduces us to the young people who are now eager to take the stage. Dozens of students entered this year's Fidelity Young Artists Competition. Is what I hope to be. Not the usual four, but five talented high school musicians made the cut. The contest is free, but gives them a priceless opportunity. They've been chosen to perform here on stage with Keith Lockhart and the Boston Pops. All of us sat there with our hands like this and we were like, what? Here are the 2023 Boston Pops Fidelity Young Artists. The performance opportunity is really what I want to get at here uh, and being able to collaborate especially with so many great musicians. Performing at, in Symphony Hall must be a thrill. Yeah, definitely. I think the legacy of all the pianists who have been here before, and not only pianists but other uh, musicians, um, is really significant. I am so excited and I'm so nervous. You tried out for this last year and didn't make it. Mm -hmm. What gave you the courage to come back? I think that the also the end goal, me performing on the Symphony Hall stage with the Boston Pops, was such a cool idea that I thought I should go for it at least. And though this isn't over, well, it's just begun. I definitely want to start making music. Um, and the dream is arenas for me, honestly. <laughs> Singing in the, the big venues, yeah. When you think about performing with Keith Lockhart and the Boston Pops, and your name is alongside them, that must be a tremendous feeling. It feels incredible, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's, yeah. I, I hope to have so many more opportunities like this, but this is the first time that I'm really doing something this big. Singing my song, I'm singing my song. It'll be by far the biggest audience that I've played for and, um, you know, to have the opportunity to share some, like, a part of me that I'm so passionate about. I've always dreamed of, you know, perhaps, like, soloing on the stage one day. And I'm just super excited that I finally get the chance to. When you're 15 years old and you're on a stage where some of the most famous violinists in the world have played, how will that feel for you? It'll be extraordinary, I think. Mm. It's just wonderful being in Symphony Hall and being able to perform in front of so many people in this historic stage. And I'm really looking forward to working with the Boston Pops and Keith Lockhart and making such a wonderful performance. <laughs> So you don't necessarily need a fancy teacher or to be a dead serious classical musician to get into this thing? Absolutely not. We've had winners that were just singers in their church choir, and we've had winners that have had some lessons. But you absolutely don't have to have formal training. You just have to have talent and have a willingness to, to, to compete and apply. The Boston Pops Fidelity Young Artists Competition Concert is June 6th at Symphony Hall. And next year, students with musical talent can just upload cell phone video of their performance to YouTube. Entering the competition is free. All the information about next spring's competition is on our website, WBZ.com. Paula Eben, WBZ News. Mm. Wow. So impressed. And WBZ, proud to be the media partner for the Fidelity Young Artist Competition. How's that for the resume? <laughs> That's way up good. there. We'll be right back.